if we have to raise interest rates more over time, we will. Hello everyone, it's your humble and gracious host Hima. So in that video that you saw, it was uh, Federal Bank Reserve uh, Chairman, current Chairman uh, Jerome Powell saying that they are thinking of increasing interest rates in March, starting in March, there are going to be three uh, rate hikes. Well, sup supposedly, uh, there are going to be three uh, rate hikes and they're thinking of doing it. I think the markets are kind of responding to that. The stock market, um, NASDAQ and everything is kind of going down uh, because people are a bit scared at the moment. If there is a rate, a rate hike, uh, risky assets, including tech stocks and of course, uh, Bitcoin and crypto will go down substantially. And of course, the reason actually, uh, you know, crash actually proves that, you know, people actually are scared at the moment. Um, so what's going on with Bitcoin? I'll start off with this image over here. Um, this is a fear and greed index. You can just type it on Google. And as you can see, we are a bit getting over that. We're still in that fear side, but it's getting bit better. It was actually almost at the bottom a couple of days ago. So that's good news. That being said, uh, I also want to show you guys a couple of uh, retail, <coughs> a couple of economic news that actually might have resulted in the crash. Um, so retail sales dropped 1.9 in December as higher prices cause consumers curb spending. So if you, I'll put this link to this article and it says that due to higher inflation, basically uh, retail spending actually reduced and that kind of uh, became a problem to the economy. Of course, December was like, you know, this the Christmas month. It should be exactly opposite. But then what happened was because things were so expensive, people didn't have, even though the government was printing money and giving like chunks of money into people's hands, somehow retail spending actually lowered it i don't think it's necessarily a bad thing but again um, this actually signals uh, inflation and then uh, this uh, lady came out she's actually running to be the uh, second like vice uh, chair for the uh, uh, fed chair uh, Brainiac question on inflation, climate risk issues as part of nomination to become Fed's second in command. So this is what she said uh, in this article. I'll also put this link below. Prices rose at the fastest pace in four decades in December, increasing 7% over the same period a year ago. There's no telling when inflation will fall to more sustainable levels, especially as the pandemic keeps its hold on the path ahead. All right. And then she goes on saying, meanwhile, inflation has become a charge issue in Washington and serious political handicap for the Biden administration. That's, a, that's actually true. He has a lot of problems, uh, economic problems coming in that he needs to uh, tackle. <laughs> Otherwise, he's going to get poop. So that's especially the case since rising costs for groceries, rent and gas can be households most tangible items test for the test for how the economy is performing. So we have some um, housing numbers coming in next week. So hopefully um, I think it's all leading to increasing interest rate. And they're saying the um, inflation is like 7%. I think it should be more in my personal opinion. Um, so this is, I think what is causing all of this fear in the markets. Um, and that's why Bitcoin actually came down because um, there will be uh, increase in rate uh, rate hike rate hikes in March. Starting from March, they said that they're going to be three. So um, again, uh, but there are some good news for Bitcoin. We have a former lawmaker from the island nation of Tonga wants to use Bitcoin to secure his country's financial security. So they are kind of trying to follow uh, El Salvador's path. El Salvador actually uh, last year, if you guys remember, they adopted Bitcoin into their balance sheet. Um, and then Tonga is also a beautiful country. Um, they want to get into uh, Bitcoin as well. And they are saying in the articles that the energy that's created by volcanic eruptions, we know Tonga is in that volcanic uh, region can be used for to uh, power Bitcoin mining. So they're thinking of 
uh, going forward with i think this is a great initiative especially for third world countries i hope sri lanka adapts to this um, method as well i'm from sri lanka i hope they do because i think uh, uh currencies in third world countries especially tonga el salvador sri lanka like the devaluating against the dollar and it's actually a huge problem for the people so having a little bit of bitcoin something that goes against the dollar uh, something that i appreciate over time is will actually help these countries in a greater deal um so this person he's he's saying that they're thinking of um that they're proposing a bill to the uh, government of course to adopt bitcoin in the future i think by the time um you know end of this year hopefully they will uh, legalize it just like el salvador so that's one good news the other good news is rio de janeiro to allocate one percent of treasury reserves to the crypto report so this is from coindesk uh oh wow it's a beautiful picture wow i'll put this link below as well so you guys can have a look so they are also saying that of course brazil is also has a higher inflation inflation is really high not as high as venezuela they are also i think they believe that if they go down this path they'll end up like venezuela so they're thinking of adopting bitcoin which i think is a great um solution like i told you when we're thinking of bitcoin we, we can't just um measure it in terms of first world countries we have to think about and talk about how these kind of decisions will affect people in third world countries because they're the ones who are actually struggling the most so i think uh brazil is not necessarily a third world country but it the economy is kind of bad too at the moment so i think them having to allocate one percent is it's not like i don't think it's a lot of money but still is more than enough to start with i think they are also headed towards that um adapting bitcoin future so you got three countries right now el salvador is settled um rio de janeiro from the looks of this article by the end of this year they'll also go ahead with their plan you got tonga and you need more countries in and uh, this will actually lead more countries to adapt into bitcoin and i am looking at the chart right now um as you can see bitcoin i'm on a one day chart we have a death cross appearing uh, it came out about in 10th of january uh, when i uploaded this video uh, and this death cross is actually uh, had most people um, you know scared like oh my god this is the end of course when it did appear bitcoin went down but if you remember last time when there was a death cross bitcoin actually uh, reached an all-time high it went back up after um wait when did it go up after a month almost uh bitcoin went up and had a amazing run this was the last year so a death cross is not necessarily something that's bad that's something that you should be worried about uh but of course it's not that i'm worried about bitcoin i'm worried about how uh federal federal reserve will react that's my only problem at the moment um and like i told you like i've oh, always been telling you if bitcoin does come down there's a higher chance that it might come down to twenty thousand dollars because that was the previous high uh but for it to get to twenty thousand dollars it still needs to come to this uh forty to thirty thousand dollar level kind of accumulate over here like the last time and then go back down i do not think look in the long run i'm really very bullish on bitcoin I think Bitcoin will go to $100,000, but again, you know, it's very um, hard to say these days, like um, economies are recovering and so many people are going back to work. And of course we have Omicron. So it only needs like one thing, one bad thing to happen. You could have hundred good things happening, but only need one bad thing to happen to things go crazy. So keep an eye, I would not be buying Bitcoin at the moment. I already have bitcoin i'll be buying bitcoin uh, in this if it comes down to this uh 30 to 40 thousand dollars and i'll be increasing my uh buys uh when it comes to twenty thousand dollar mark 
all right guys and girls that's it for today's video i hope you learned something uh, i wanted to actually make we i wanted to talk about these uh, numbers economic numbers and then of course talk about this tonga and rio de janeiro news which is my point throughout this entire videos like in my platform is just don't sell your bitcoin for dollars if you're selling your bitcoin sell it for something else for like a house or something <clears throat> Oh, I don't know something that has significant value to Bitcoin it could be another cryptocurrency but I would the only thing that I would think of trading your Bitcoin would be Ethereum uh, at the moment but again do not sell your Bitcoin unless you have to like if you have uh, something necessary coming up you know spending coming up so you need the money that's justified but don't sell it because it's going down I'm pretty sure it'll go down further but that's fine that's when you should buy so with that regard remark um i'm gonna stop for this video i'll see you guys in another video and remember this is not financial advice this video is only for education and entertainment purposes only i'll see you guys in another video until then have a nice day